I know most of you have been messaging me, asking me to talk about what is currently going on in River State between an uh, outgoing governor, uh, who is currently the minister of FCT, Wiki, versus uh, the current uh, governor of River, of River State, Sim. You guys are asking me to respond to that, to talk about that. See, Nigeria politics uh, is tiring. It's tiring, honestly speaking. Eh? But no to God, God for that reason. No to God for that reason. I am against it. Well, that being said, I don't want to speak again on that particular matter. So let's uh, move forward. Let's talk about uh, Naramali and uh, Sam Larry, who are currently in jail. Also, we're going to talk about happy boys <laughs> who are currently in Abuja after being deported. Can you imagine, guys? All those guys. Uh, because may that pastor cause them uh, really follow them. So I pray they find a way to escape it or to apologize to the pastor. So guys, uh, firstly, let's talk about Naramali and uh, Sam Larry. You know, it's more than 21 days. Police secured a court order to detain Naramali and Sam Larry for 21 days. And police invited Naramali and Sam Larry Naramali was not in Nigeria. He was invited to come to Nigeria. He was invited to come to Nigeria with the motion to help with investigation. That's what they told him. Also, Sam Larry, to help with investigation, to help with investigation. Before, so because they don't want to be declared wanted and all those things, they came. And unfortunately, they were detained. Detained for more than 21 days. According to the police, they said they will detain Aramali and Samlari for 21 days. But after 21 days, we do not know what will happen. But right now, they are still in jail for more than 21 days. And Aramali and Samlari are not happy about that situation at all. They are not happy about that situation. So now they are suing Nigeria police for the sum of 14 million naira for unlawful detention. 14 million naira for unlawful detention. Guys, eh, despite all we are talking about is uh uh is uh justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad. Me and myself, I want the real justice from my bad. But they should do it the right way. Do not use your muscle to detain person because it might happen to you tomorrow. <laughs> before you wish for something, eh, before you blast Naramali or Samlari over or lawful detention, eh, it might happen to you tomorrow. And you might be detained unlawfully. And when the right time is, is, is uh, as right for you to be released, they will still detain you without getting any court order or pressing you. So I wouldn't want to wish it on anybody, most especially myself, because I have seen people really go down for that. Have serious mental issue. It's not as if I'm saying Naramali or Sam Larry are innocent. Too. No, I've always said it that they still have some fault and they need to pay for making mobile life unbearable. I've always said that. I've always maintained my stand. But... They should do it lawfully. Do it lawfully. There should be rule of law. You cannot be screaming that Peter Obi was cheated and yet laughing about this case. Yes, so you cannot be screaming that the law is not working on Peter Obi's favor. Then you are laughing that the law is working against the Ramali favor. So you have to balance it, despite your heart's desire to get Naramali locked up and Samlari locked up for life. You have to balance it well. You have to balance it. Naramali should be free. Naramali and Samlari should be released from detention and charge the case to court. Or seek a court order to postpone, to elongate the detention. Simple and short. Fix a court order to elongate the detention or free these two guys to go home. 
Meanwhile, you can seize their passport, ask them not to ever leave Nigeria until the case is over to determine if they are innocent or not. To determine if they are innocent or not. That is my stand, though. I'm not biased about it. I want justice for Mubad, but I want the real justice for Mubad. I do not want any unlawful justice. Justice is not justice for the general public. It's justice for Mubad. Don't be waiting you like. I don't want God to grant general public what they like. I don't want God to grant them their hard desire. I want God to grant the real justice for Mubad. The real one, the real one, the real justice. Even if the general public is not satisfied, but deep down, God, who is the, the uh, mobile, will be satisfied. Mobile spirit will be satisfied that yes, we actually got justice. Because what we, uh, the way we are seeing the case and everything, the justice that might come aside there is not what you might thought. But as long as mobile spirit is okay with that justice, then we are good. Nobody give a damn about what you think about your own justice or what I think about my own justice. As long as mobile justice is okay. So for me, or may they release their Amalia and Samlari. Or the go court seek for extension of their detentions. So you can let us do things properly. Let us do things according to the way things are, are supposed to be done. Don't be to cut corners, you know, not be to oppress people. The way police they oppress many, many people. We are we are talking about police oppression. You know they talk about police oppression for this part. You are not you are not uh, you are not being just. Then again, eh, I wish them all the best. We are still watching the the the, the development, the 40 million naira uh, lawsuit from Naira Mali and Samlari. Then uh, happy boys. Happy boys have already apologized to that pastor, but it be like see the cost made that pastor place on them. Eh? <laughs> now strong or too much for cause. So according to the news, they said happy boys deported to Nigeria from Cyprus. They arrived in Nigeria last night uh, and are uh, in one hotel in Otako, Abuja. They arrived in Nigeria last night and uh, they did one hotel for Otako, Abuja. <laughs> Where do people get this kind of information from? How how do you guys even really know that the guy did Otako Abuja? How? 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 Well, those people around them know how to link information. It's quite unfortunate though. It's quite really uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Honestly. Coming back to Abu Nigeria, I think is the best decision for them. Best decision. You know what they're going to do next is to pursue their career. If they are true to themselves, let them start their comedy immediately. As no matter the odds, start the comedy immediately so that people will start viewing. Then you get your man. If uh, nature is on your side, get followers and get credible fans do not just hide yourself start immediately start doing something now because if you allow the cause of that pastor or the 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 public scrutiny to depress you you are only doing yourself you are only absolutely doing yourself you are not doing anybody you are undermining yourself you are going to depress yourself and you're going to put yourself in many many trouble so start now, wake up and continue doing your stuff. Do not relent. Do not do not sit back. Do not say, okay, you can relax, uh, rest first. Well, I wish them all the best though. They have made a lot of mistakes. But going to that side process was one of the biggest mistakes they made. As a Nigeria commander, they were all about comedy. As a Nigeria commander, you must make up for Nigeria affairs before you did travel. Because the market comedy did Nigeria. So going to Cyprus for me was one of the biggest mistakes, and it's good they are coming back. Maybe God is trying to retrace their step. Maybe this is not a cause. Maybe this is a God trying to bring them back to their root so that they can elevate themselves again. If they if if they treat them as cause, turn and they won't be that. You think would they depress them? They go like that. 
Well, we came across this uh, this uh, uh, conference, a retreat for po uh, for police senior officers, and the woman who came out to sing the national item. I don't understand. Oh, listen, guys. Shit. I can see sing the national item and the national pledge fluently. But you know why we do not know this stuff, eh? Because we do not rest. Nigeria self, I don't you see. Everybody no able care about that nationality. Nobody care about. You see, you go to some countries, eh? You go to some countries, special occasions. Eh? Everybody is shouting, screaming the nationality because they are proud. But how many people do you feel scream nationality? Honestly, how many of you can scream nationality because you are proud? You cannot be depressed and be screaming nationality. <laughs> waiting, waiting they do for us. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching your boy again. I'm Slink. Peace.